to Burning Rubber Garage. It is good to see you again. Uh, if you're here clicking on this video right now, you want two things. You're interested in these two cars or you're an OG subscriber that just watches all the videos. And thank you for both. But what we've got today, 72 Chevy Nova SS 69 GTO. We'll definitely get into more detail on those. But first, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Everyone who watches the videos, everyone who leaves a comment, thumbs up, anything like that. Thank you. Uh, we recently hit 4,000 subscribers, which, you know, doesn't sound like a lot in the world of millions and billions of people. But to me, it means a lot. There's a lot. There's 4,000 people out there who cared enough to click subscribe, watch some videos, and stuff like that. So, thank you. We're already past that and closing in on 4,100, which is awesome. Uh, as soon as we hit 5,000, we'll have a giveaway. Should be pretty simple. It'll be an entire video explaining it that you will comment on. Uh, you'll need to follow me on uh, YouTube and Instagram. If I draw your name, contact me on Instagram. I'll ship you the stuff. Simple as that. Uh, I've got two options on what I'm going to give away. If option one pans out in time, that's the route we're definitely going. Uh, if not, I got option two as a backup. Still going to be fun and cool. May not be as cool as option one, so we may have to do that again anyways when it happens. But again, thank you for 4,000. It does mean a lot. I beat up myself when I'm not able to get out here and make videos. Because this type of video, I've wanted to film for a month and a half, two months now. Not as soon as I got this car, uh, I wanted to put these two side by side, see which one's meaner. Uh, exhaust tone and sound. Uh, this guy needed some work. So we got this thing bandaged up pretty good. Still probably going to need a water pump and a starter, uh, which is fine. We'll get to it. But I fixed a few of the other things. We're not hemorrhaging water out. We're just got a slow leak. So let's go ahead and introduce you to these two cars. This car right here is the car I have owned the longest out of the vehicles I have right now. Uh, it's 10 to 12 years. Me and my dad went down to Nevada. It's a 72 Chevy Nova SS. Chevy 427 big block up front. Muncie right behind it. And a 12 bolt out behind that. Uh, long tubes. Flowmaster mufflers. No tips or anything like that. Just Flowmaster mufflers and some dumps by the back axle. Uh, I guess it's more like on a fender back axle. I'll show you that in a minute. Very cool car. This car was one of the things I started the channel with. Uh, there's an entire playlist dedicated to this car. I'm going to reintroduce the car because that video where I introduced the car, my second video, and I've got a lot, new, a lot of new equipment, editing skills, uh, computer editing programs, a lot of new things that happens, and then, but I think I can do this car a lot more justice. That video didn't do well. A little discouraging because the car is so cool. So I feel like that was on me. I'm going to try it again. Uh, you'll get to hear the story of how we got it uh, and everything like that and then get a good walk around it. Over here we've got one of the newest additions to the channel, 1969 Pontiac GTO. Very cool car. GTOs are freaking cool. Uh, I'm taking this one out and people just eat it up. Uh, they do a lot with this too and it's just a lot of people know somebody who knows somebody who had somebody who had rode a Nova or had a buddy who had a Nova. Novas are popular. Uh, if you're looking to get into the old muscle car game, the Nova's a good way to go just because of price and there's a lot of options. Uh, this guy right here, probably one of the more expensive cars I've got. Still not perfect. Uh, if I had bought a perfect one, it would probably been another $10,000. have got a lot of the issues dialed in. There's still a little something going on with this MSD fuel injection. Uh, it's got 428, turbo 400, and a 10 volt. Pontiac's didn't come with a 12 volt. So that's a little bit of a, a bummer, but at the same time, they're not breaking them. I'm sure there's some that are, but for the most part, these cars have taken a lot of high horsepower abuse through a 10 volt. So people are always like, you should swap. Why would I swap that? That's what it came with. And it's taken the abuse for 50 plus years, you know? Uh, definitely a very cool car. Again, headers, flow master mufflers, dumped behind the back tire, similar setups. I've got my sound meter here. We're going to do a cold start. I'll let them warm up. You won't have to watch them warm up, but I'll let you hear a little bit of it. Uh, and then we'll do a, uh, a little rev, like two grand and three grand, and we'll just kind of see which one's louder, which one sounds better. My money's going to be over here on the Nova. Uh, it's probably one of the better sounding cars I have. I am a Flowmaster fan, so if you're not into Flowmasters, that's what both of these have. They're going to sound very similar. 
close to the same. So with that, let's get started. Uh, I'm excited. This is something I wanted to do. She's ready to roll. Ready to roll. Let's do it. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. All right, so on the GTO, the tailpipe comes out right here below the bumper. And then over here on the Nova, got the tailpipe behind the tire. I'm going to try and measure back about a foot now. Oh, let's just go the foot from where it would hit the ground. So it'll kind of hit the ground and come back at it like that. But uh, nothing too crazy going on on either of these cars. This car has not been started in, I think it's been five days. So it'll be a true cold start. Alright, that first rev, that thing is covered. Uh, that first rev was uh, 2,000 and the next rev was 3,000. I'm going to find a paper towel to wipe this thing off. It just got covered. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the GTO was at like 113, 114 at 2,000 and uh, 116 at 3,000, uh, maybe 117. I'll have to go back and watch the tape. But the, uh, the Nova hasn't been started in about the same time. I think I started on both the same time. So uh, I'm going to go see how it does. Alright, so I would say in conclusion they are uh, pretty dang identical in sound. I'll have to measure pipes and stuff another time, but uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. When we hit enough of it, I'll know people liked it. Uh, we'll do some drive-bys and see which one's louder doing the drive-by. Again, 427 Chevy. 428 Pontiac. There's the fuel tank for Frostbite. There's the old Suzuki, so uh, beautiful. Beautiful cars. I tell you what. I hope you guys dig the thumbnail too. I'm going to pull them both out here and get a couple pictures. Uh, this orange pops. And I can't wait to cut and buff it and uh, have it pop even more. It's freaking sweet color. You gotta love it. If you can, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know which one you thought was louder. I think the Nova's louder at idle. And then once you rev them up, it seemed very, very similar. Again, Chevy 427. Pontiac 428. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.